we are indeed soft. We are getting off so light these days. The translation of the gospel, Jesus says, I say to you not seven times, but 77 times are you to forgive. Many of you will remember back when the translation was, was different. And Jesus didn't say 77 times. He said, I say to you, you must not forgive seven times, but seven times, 70 times. So we've gone from having to forgive somebody 490 times to just 77. Wow, Whew. thank goodness. <clears throat> Maybe it's appropriate that on this catechetical Sunday we are paying attention to this, this gospel, to this message, because I think in terms of teaching our children, I was thinking about what are going to be the most important things that we can teach our kids truly. Um, you know, the big push today in education is what they call STEAM, science, technology, engineering, and, and math. And I'm not sure if I got it exactly right, but I hear some whispering. Did I forget one? Okay, doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, I was reading. Uh, Bishop Peter was doing the groundbreaking up in uh, Lewiston for their, their new school, and he said that it should be stream, that in addition to all of the science and technology and math and everything, there should be an R in there. There should be religion as well. What should we be teaching our kids? Well, I think maybe we should be teaching them math. I think we should be teaching them astronomy. And I think, and I am not saying this in any way to disparage those of you who are accountants. You do that for a living. You do very important work. But I think we need to teach our kids a lot less bookkeeping. Teaching them math, Jesus math. Understand that seven times 70 times is the way that Jesus wants us to be. To have a heart that It isn't just keeping track of hurts or offenses, but is open enough, is wide enough to put our own hurts aside and reach out and seek healing, not just for the other person, but for ourselves. 70 times 7 times is something that I think might calm down a lot of the hy hysteria, a lot of the anger, a lot of the isolation that we see in our society. Learning 70 times 7 can cut down the mistrust. Can let us get that sense once again that we belong to one another, that we are one human family. We don't always have that tendency we tend to keep track, to do 
our own personal bookkeeping. Most of us would not even let our brother or our neighbor get to seven times, much less 70 times, seven times. Once, twice, forget it. I'm not going to forgive them. Why should I? They did it to me. And so we get very good at bookkeeping, at accounting, at keeping track. And that's where I think the astronomy comes in. In the gospel. It's, it's a shame that Jesus did not, in Matthew's gospel, assign dollar values, because I think it would help us to understand this homily a bit, I mean this gospel, a bit better. If someone owed their, their patron, their master, a huge amount that would cause the master to put them in jail to sell their, off their family or whatever. We're talking about an amount that there was no way that this servant could pay his master back. The debt was that huge. And so when he said, you know, be patient with me and I'll pay you back, no he wouldn't. There was no way that he could, even if he won the lottery. I'm not sure they had lotteries back then. But the master found compassion. He didn't have to forgive him. He chose to. It wasn't justice. It was mercy. And then when the servant went out, found another one who maybe owed him a couple of bucks. You owe me. Pay me back. My debt, what you owe me, is the most important thing. Why? Because you owe it to me. And that's how we get sometimes. When I have been hurt, it's not what this other person has done. It's the fact that they have done it to me. How dare they do it to me or my family or my friends or my nation? I have become the center of the universe. Everything else revolves around me. And so that's why the little debt, the little sin, the little transgression. I'm not going to forgive that. How dare they? Jesus shows us how dare we. Because that's the way that God deals with us. It's not about God's anger, as we have been taught in the past. It's not about God's wrath, which we were taught in order to try and keep us in line or make us feel ashamed or humble. It's about mercy. It's about freeing from burden. When I forgive another, it's a gift that I give to myself so that I don't have to keep carrying this around. This no longer becomes a cross that I insist on carrying, that I insist on nailing myself to.
Forgiveness is something that is so important to teach our kids, but it is so important for us to let God teach us. If we could have a greater spirit of forgiveness among all people, would we have the kind of terrorism that we have today? Would we have kind of racial anger, injustice, prejudices that we have today? Would we have so many that are without? Jesus wants us to build a kingdom. Seventy times, seven times. But we got to do it once. And then after that, we got to do it once. And after that, we got to do it once. And all of those will add up. We won't keep track. We'll just be too busy forgiving, accepting, and celebrating.